I want to drive home, and many of you already know this, if you're a TSTC student, if you're the parent of a TSTC student, or if you're an employer, and even uh, the legislature knows this too, and that is a high principle for us is that of value. I think you can search far and wide seeking a school that can take such a little bit of tuition dollar and a little bit of time and turn it in to such a well-paying career. That kind of ROI for the student is tough to match anywhere in the country. I You know, we think too that from a legislative and a, and, a, and a policy standpoint, TSDC is a good investment from that standpoint too. If you look at that broad array of higher ed that we have in Texas, one that we should be duly proud of, TSDC is actually a fairly modest investment in that. But the yield that we turn in to the state of Texas in the form of, of employed Texans in great paying jobs that are serving the employment needs of Texas, that return on investment is hard to beat by any other school. And so we're duly proud of that. And, and we're glad to be a part of that. But I'll offer you this. I could talk about TSDC all night long. Would you like to? Is that okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, any of the employees in the house are going, here he goes again. So, but but um, I've got somebody who can actually talk about TSTC for me. And if you don't mind, I'd like to run a video clip right now, which we're using with permission, from a very well-known fella. And if we could, here we go. A young man named Justin Friend attended Texas State Technical College in Waco and received a two-year certificate in welding. In 2013, in his first full year on the job, this young man made about $130,000. Last year, in his second year, he made about $140,000. So I'm thinking, if this governor thing doesn't work out, I'm going to TSTC and getting myself a welding certificate. <laughs> 